Welcome back to Tech Support, Air Unknown. We're back for a bite of the apple once again, in the hopes of making it through a single work week without getting fired. Work week. Jesus. God, it beeps. Testing out a new microphone today, which is my pretext for recording this. Not because I am so deeply ashamed at my performance last time. Now, question. To continue or to begin a new? Oh, let's continue. All right, let's get that code right away since our fatal flaw last time was <sighs> not checking it soon enough. Uh, 21074. All right. Pay no attention to the Indigo email. You're a grateful son. I tried sending you money, my friend, my brother would not allow me to do so. Instead, I can offer money to Spence for some reason, though he asks for none. Uh, whatever. Okay. Uh, so, yes, 210740. Let's not forget. Back to work. Oh, I, this is before I had earned enough money to send to you anyway, so maybe that has something to do with it. Melvina Martin! Greetings, Melvina. Let's see how good texts are well. Luckily, you have encountered the best. The very best, as a matter of fact. Um, what's your deal? My phone doesn't work properly. I see. Well, what happened? I don't know. One moment, everything's fine. Next thing I know, this happens. Well, that's very, very useful information. I certainly will be able to pinpoint this for you in just a moment. Have you tried... Rebooting the phone. I have no idea what this is, but whatever it is, likely turning it off and on again will be the quickest route to victory. Aha, fantastic. Ciao. Ciao, Bella. Wilbur King. Howdy, I have a problem. Oh, we have a cowboy on our hands. Uh, you have completed your probation at our uh, junior tech specialist. Well, fantastic. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Cowboy. What seems to be the issue? I forgot the password to my phone. Well, then, sadly, you must factory reset that phone. Two, one, oh, seven, four, oh. Yes, I am valid. Well, I can send you these instructions. Does that still sound too complicated for you? Well, then very well, we will have to escalate the issue. You can be helped, but I'm afraid not by me. Ticket failed? Oh, is that a warrant? No, no that's not a warranty issue. What the fuck? I think you made a small mistake here, because you never got the warranty. You can't be sure. Oh, that's right, we're only supposed to... Um, escalate if there is a warranty. I, I, I forgot. They gave me a tutorial and then changed the rules on me at the last minute. Kamala, you sent me an email to express your disappointment and chat with me. Such a thing as overcorrecting. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Ooh, who do we have here? Nelda McKinney. Nelda, what a unique name that you have. Howdy, my Bluetooth doesn't work. Okay. Have you checked the settings to ensure that Bluetooth, blue teeth, sorry, blue teeth, I forgot it's copyright. Yes, try that out. Any day now, Nelda. Oh, great. Congratulations. So glad that worked out for you, Nelda. Excellent. What's this? Oh, you took it aside. Olive Reyes. Olive, strong and hardy like the tree. Hey, dog. My name is Olive. I hope you can help me with my problem. Well, what is the problem? I don't know. My phone just doesn't want to work properly. Okay, then. What happened? It was raining really hard, and it seems it must have caught some moisture. Well, then have you tried drying it out? OK, 
Okay, then have you tried changing the battery? You think that would be a hazard, do you, while you're falling under warranty? Standard warranty. Uh, however, I don't think that the warranty covers water damage. If I remember correctly. So like inbox. Not the warranties. Standard warranties, technical issues, not problems caused by customers and sales or crack screens and wet moss phones should never be escalated. Aha! Uh -huh. See, there you have it. Okay, then. You don't want to change the battery. You don't want to dry it out. Um, well, then, in that case, tell me about yourself. <laughs> I'm always working, unfortunately. Well... I'm sorry to hear that. You're going to have to work a little more because you're going to need to purchase a new phone. Now, hold on a second. Let me double check because I think there was something about them being escalated. Uh, never be escalated. So somebody replied that you cannot help them. I see. Well, then I suppose that's our only option. I'm afraid I can't help you. You'll need to work even harder to replace your phone. Well, we all have to go out some way, Olive, and that's as good as any. Four tickets, 40 bucks. That's what I made in a single day. Here we are. Uh, access to the customer database. As you know, we were forced to let many of your coworkers go following the Indigo emails. It was unfortunate but necessary to ensure the quality of our services. This has also opened up a few promotions, which is why we have decided to officially make you a Tier 2 Specialist. As such, you now have access to new tools for tech support, starting with Beesbook Pro, which you can download from this email, naturally. You will be able to ask our customers for their account numbers and access their profiles, which allows you to see basic information. Note that you can no longer ask for their warranty directly, as we only recognize warranties registered in Beesbook Pro. See a demonstration account, simply enter the account number, all zeros. Quasar needs your support, and we are convinced that you will be up to the task. Do not let us down. All right. I now should have enough money to send to my blue there to save our blue there. But I still cannot do so. It's not in the list. Instead, I can send Spence money for... No reason at all. Um, reply. Send. Reply. I'm sorry, let me say I made it. Every day I learn more. Reply. I'm just replying and replying. Replying and replying. These book pro. Indeed. Sample. Gen uh, other gender, March 23rd, dummy at quasar.co. Farmer loves clowns. Why would it have this information in a customer database? Frequently travels overseas, prefers to be contacted by email rather than telephone. Tried to call to check up on customer to make sure everything was up to their satisfaction. Standard warranty. I sent the model. Customer profile. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I think I get the picture. Support desk. Ah, here we have a distinguished gentleman patiently awaiting a Mr. Kirk Woodbury. Hey there, I have a problem. Well, Mr. Woodbury, what is your problem? I can't get my phone to keep a charge. Oh, well, that is unfortunate. Um, what happened? I guess it's just old. Oh, well, then you may need to change the battery. <laughs> You are welcome, Mr. Woodbury. You, I was so hopeful you said it twice. I appreciate that. A Mario Morgan. It's a me, a Mario Morgan. I'm not sure you can help me, but I hope so. Well, you know, I have a very uh, broad skill set, but uh, there are certain things beyond my means. I dropped my phone and cracked the screen. If only this were the first time. Well, then you are going to need to replace that screen. Uh, well, I can give you instructions. 
Uh, understandable. Do you have a warranty on that device? It's just the regular warranty. It should cover my problem, though. I don't believe that it does. Uh, cracked screens and wet loss phones never escalated. No, I'm afraid not. Um, what's the send phone for repair? Is that something that's normally a warranty thing? Okay, apparently not. That was not explained to me. Okay. It wasn't explained, but I understand it, and it does make sense, so. Oh, here we have Ernest Frame. Finally, I've been waiting forever. What took you so long? I was, uh, I'm here to help. What can I do for you? I'm still learning how to use my phone, but I can't find how to charge the wallpaper. I see. Oh, change the wallpaper. I said, under the fence. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. Later. Ah, an officer of the law by the name of Lana Black. Hello, Mr. You or Do Not Sue Me. I am Special Agent Lana Black, a part of the investigation team concerning the emails you received from Indigo. I would like to speak with you. Do you have a moment? Well, this is a very unconventional way to conduct an interrogation, but sure. It seems like maybe you want to just kind of come in and speak to me in person or on the phone rather than through my employer's tech support channels, but okay. Um, no, I did not reply to them. They didn't initiate a second contact. What are you talking about? Lana.black at lcpd.com. Why.com. I think that this is some kind of elaborate spear phishing campaign. No. Nothing out of the ordinary. Do you believe there's any basis in Indigo's claims against Quasar? I don't even know what they are. I didn't bother reading the email. But I also don't have any uh, any reason to suspect that they're up to anything. Other than having a very meddlesome HR representative, really, uh, they seem to be pretty typical. I understand that perhaps only Indigo is trying to spread confusion still. Although Quasar is not officially under investigation, we remain vigilant towards any serious accusation. Should you receive anything suspicious and in the future, I'd appreciate if you send it to me. That's it for now. If you have anything more, please feel free to contact me. A lot of that black at lcpd.com. Do not forget. <sighs> All right, then. Email. Uh, uh, reply, I'm so very sorry. Remove ask. Following the successful deployment of our Weezbook Pro customer database, we have decided that you should always determine a customer's warranty with the, with the customer database and not with Ticket Manager. This will ensure your information is accurate up to date and okay. Uh, understood. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, well, hello, Irene Powers. What powers does Irene have? Hey, dog. My name is Irene, and I hope you can help me with my problem. Well, what is the problem? My phone won't start, and it says something about corruption. I see. My phone has decided to take a stance against corruption. That's admirable. But how did this happen? Nothing really happened, it just stopped working. Have you tried turning it off and on again? It still doesn't work. Okay, well then, what is your customer number? Hmm. 
Having powers. Standard warranty. Mountain biking fanatic. Learn to play piano. Subscribe to the newspaper. Why on earth do we have this information? All right, then. Uh, let's see. Have you tried a factory reset of your device? Um, well, I can send you procedures to do so. I'm sure we can figure out an easier solution. Well, I mean, corruption doesn't seem to be the issue. Like, an issue. Um, instruments? Oh, because I looked them up in the database. I know that they're into this stuff. Let me see. Um, well, I, mean, I don't see the point in making that kind of small talk. Uh, at least not yet in the game. But anyway, um, standard warranty. This isn't a dropped or cracked screen issue. So this should be fine, right? They should probably have a reference to the warranties somewhere. Uh, yeah, technical issues not caused by customers themselves. Uh, what? Oh, that's right. We just said it's going to happen. Why don't you send it in for repair? Peace out, sir. You're welcome. We have the one in the in the chamber here, Tommy Powers. While I was dealing with uh, what I assume is your sister and or uh, wife and why my fucking mouse is breaking. Um, well, what's the problem? I was speaking with Irene. Do you know Irene? Your phone doesn't work properly. Okay, well then what happened? It, no, that's not... It's not how technology works. It doesn't just happen. Tommy Powers with a standard warranty magistrate model with a prosthetic leg. Oh, can I chat with you about your prosthetic leg? Oh, indeed I can. Why would I want to, though? <laughs> oh, it came back to us after a bad experience. Okay, then. Uh, you have the standard warranty. Uh, it just doesn't work. Properly. It just doesn't. Okay, have you tried rebooting it? Oh, fantastic. I'm glad your unspecified problems were solved with a vague general solution. Edward Caster. Dude, my phone's whack, yo. Okay, what please specifically is the problem? I don't know, my phone just ain't right, yo. It just cut off when I was chilling with my girl on the line. Bro, she's hot, but not enough to melt my phone, if you know what I mean. I see. Well... Have you tried rebooting your phone? Okay, then what is your customer number? If that didn't work, then... You don't know about any number, are you for real? Very well. Have you tried factory resetting your phone? Okay, then what do you want me to do about this? You're not telling me what's wrong and not being cooperative. Uh, okay, then. Then, uh, then there's nothing I can do for you. Then tell me your customer number. If you want assistance, this is how we have to do it. Doesn't seem to want to take no for an answer, so I will just say no again. Okay. What is your customer number? You did not say you, son of a bitch. And with warranty managers and online community of gamers and developers. Dude, bro, dog, maybe under the influence of certain substances. 
tough to sell on additional products. Okay, well, you have the standard warranty. So I suppose you can send it in for repair. You just figured it out. All right, I'm piecing out. Well, um, that's wonderful. <laughs> Not exactly glowing uh, reviews there. Okay, um, I'd like something... I understand that I bypassed the intrigue with Indigo because it hasn't really made a lot of sense to do so. But um, I would like something to happen in the game. Uh, now would be good, because uh, this is getting boring. Following into this threats in the enforcement of firing our less trustworthy employees, we are forced to take measures to ensure ongoing safety of our customers. I'm sorry, you said, um, that's right. The customer is requesting a transcript of the conversation. You will not be able to send them a copy through email. There is no additional step associated with this. Simply send them the email to the customer and include the automatic generated transcripts upon request. Okay, fine. Thank you for contacting me. Good morning. I have a problem. Yes, Mr. Lopez, what is your problem? Uh, I mean, I know it's kind of bullshit for me to, to bypass the obvious story hook that they placed in my path and then complain about being bored, but, uh, you know... I, I am kind of just like that, so... My Bluetooth doesn't work, but have you checked the settings? Okay, great, you try that and let me know if it doesn't work. Uh, yes, um, somehow. Uh, email address? Okay, then... Um, I don't need to do anything else. <laughs> yes, you seem like a nice person. So happy you would do that. Uh, okay, what do I need to do? Um, okay. Okay, I gotcha. And there's your email address. So... Okay, yes, I'll send you a... I'll send you a thing. Oh, uh, hold on. I have to compose message, don't I? New. There he is. Okay. What? No, that's not what I want to do. There we go. There we go. All right, we, we figured it out. Abusive attitude, structure, there's procedures to do this behavior. You're contacting me, blah, whatever, Jesus. Christ. Everyone's talking about this, I'm just a tech support guy. Murdy Heath, understaffed. Uh, well, yes, as a matter of fact, Murdy, we are. Now, as you do with customers asking questions outside your list, I'm sure, oh, well, you know, I am essentially a very advanced robot, so. Are you even listening? I always said, my, no, you didn't say that. What happened? Oh my god. What is your customer number? I've done tech support before. This is very... Uh, I'm, I'm experiencing some... Uh, flashbacks here. Okay, Murray. Standard warranty, magistrate model, loss of volunteer work, typical class work. That should definitely be in this customer database. Okay, then, have you tried rebooting your phone? Okay, then. Uh, then I suppose uh, you can send it in for repair. 
wonderful. I certainly can. Marty Heath. Yeah, that's me. I bet you never thought of knowing this, but somehow the time that way to contact you. I hope you're doing well. I never thought that working as a textbook specialist would have been my sentence. Uh, <laughs> it's funny that we can do that. Okay. There we go. There you go. There's your thing. At least you managed to do one thing right away. What? What the fuck? Oh, I see. Yes, that's fair enough. I didn't do that. And I and I should have. But it's fine. Dave Pratt. It's about damn time. So impatient, Mr. Pratt. But I suppose time waits for no man. And our... Oh, shit. Uh, Alright, well that's not good. Um, you check calling yourself? Yeah. What, don't you want it back? What do you want me to do? What's your customer number? What is your uh, customer number? This shit again. Oh, give me a sec. Yes, it's such a terrible inconvenience to call a business with which you have a relationship and to have them ask you to identify yourself by customer number. It's such an unexpected question, too, when you call for tech support. Like, why on earth would they need to know how to find your particular information among all of their customers? What a silly, silly thing. Standard warranty, travel, mon, blah, 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 blah. All right, well, um, I kind of don't have a choice here, uh, but uh, I think that this is covered by warranty. Uh, no, it said technical issues. Uh, note on warranty. All right, I'm going to cover technical issues, not problems caused by other customers. Uh, yeah, technical issues. Doesn't say anything about theft. What? Uh, I was checking the warranties. It took me like a second. Oh, boy. People are getting more impatient, and it's becoming too much like real life when I actually did Tier 2 technical support. Not a fan. Not a fan of the realism. Um, did I get the fired ending again? For real? Damn it. Um, propose solution. What's the problem? Damn it. Junior tech specialist. So once again, the fired ending. Why? You know, maybe I just don't have what it takes. I just don't have what it takes to be in tech support. Maybe I should have taken the indigo story hook. It seems as if things begin to snowball if you don't. And you kind of just end up in tech support hell doing the actual job, which is not very exciting. And uh, it simulates almost perfectly the abuse one suffers in such a position. So perhaps I should restart with a new profile and take the bait this time. What's the word? What do we think? Well, I think the word is that we're kind of done with this. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping to do better than the fire to ending. Uh, but again, this is a, a hacking-themed puzzle game, not a hacking simulator or an educational game. And you know, while it's in line with what I, what I do on this channel, uh, with the increase in my uh, demands on my time for the semester, I simply don't have as much time to play games and so on. Should, should move on to other titles. I will say Tech Support Area Unknown. Uh, does a great job of simulating the tech support side of things. The uh, other side of things, as far as the adventure game and the puzzles and stuff like that goes, uh, it seems about seems about standard. I don't really have uh, any words for or against on this one. Uh, it seems like it could be fun, a fun little mystery game. Uh, but again, there are many other games for me to play, and I have scant time to play them. So, um, I guess that's going to be it for tech support error unknown. I'm going to move on to something else. You take care, and we'll see you on the next one.